Hello there, YouTube. It is Devin, the Creeper Keeper, here today. And we are actually going to be going over in detail, as well as handling, one of my Western Black Widow spiders. Now, a lot of people are, in a way, afraid of these. There is a common fear amongst folks that these are malicious, aggressive animals that are out to get you, and when bit are going to cause some serious, if not fatal, damage. That's not true. I mean, they can be fatal on a rare occasion if you're a infant or an elder but either way, you're probably going to be just fine. In fact, the majority of bites from this species are dry bites, whereas no venom is actually injected. It's more of a warning system to keep you away. Now, the full Latin name for this specific species here is the Latrodectus hesperus. It is the western black widow located over here in central California was where I found her. Um, I actually found her not in her ultimate molt. As you can see, she's basically pure black right now with that red hourglass if you can see in there. I did not find her that way. She was immature originally. She was stripy and had all those um, younger markings that you'd see on a typical female Black Widow. However, I kept her around for a few weeks and she molted into this beautiful large female, probably larger than any Widow I've owned actually. And I haven't had any issues with egg sacs because she molted shortly after I got her so there was no chance for her to mate. Now, we are going to be holding this spider today, and before we do that, we need to go over how it can be held effectively and as safely as possible, because it's not safe no matter how you cut it, this thing can kill you, but there are better ways to go about it than some. So, the first thing we need to do is look at why a black widow would bite you in the first place. The first reason is it thinks you're food. Now, the only time it's going to think you're food is if you're sticking your finger up inside of its den and wiggling it around, in which case it's going to have every reason to come and bite you. It's what it's evolutionarily designed to do. However, the other chance that it would bite you is if it felt a general disturbance or felt like defending its territory. Now, this little girl has her territory inside this little AMAC box, this little enclosure that I set up for her quite some time ago, and she's doing fine. You know, she webs it up. Every time I open it, the web gets destroyed, but it's what they do. They build. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to coax her out of this box using the paintbrush, from there, once she's out and about, we'll have her wander around onto my hand. From there, I'll pick her up and show you her. So, let's see if we can get her to uh, crawl out of this. Come on, baby. Her name is actually Matilda, for those of you wondering. Um, she is the third Black Widow that I've owned in my time here in the hobby. Let's see if she, we can get her to leave. Problem is that the last thing she wants to do is go crawl out onto this foreign surface that she's never felt before. Okay. Getting her off camera here. There we go. And as you can see, she is just exploring right now. She has no real reason to bite me because she knows that I am not a threat. Well, she doesn't know that. She just considers me to be more um, a part of the environment than anything else. So I do apologize for the shaky hands. There's a bit of adrenaline going through me right now. I'm sure you can see why. But anyways, just so you guys are aware, these are not the malicious, vindictive creatures that everyone thinks are out to cause problems and wreak havoc. They just want to be left alone. They just want to eat bugs. They just want to keep roaches out of your house, keep the mosquitoes away, all that. And in all honesty, I'd much rather have a few of these out in the corner of my yard or up on an overhang in my house instead of flies around in my face all day or seeing crickets hopping along my carpet. It's just not something I want to deal with. But to each their own, and that's going to be it. Let me go ahead and put her up real quick here. She doesn't want to leave now. There we go. All right. Hopefully enough of that was in frame. Thank you for watching, everybody. And um, enjoy your day. Bye-bye.